Hello, everybody. Welcome to Conspiracy Grotesco de Tre. Um, and today we are going to be going into Teatro Grotesco, and we are going to be reading, or we already read, The Town Manager, which is um, a lot of fun. It's a story that's kind of like a allegory of our democracy and uh, just how ridiculous it all is. And um, for those of you who haven't read it, I'll give you a brief rundown. Um, there are these people that live in this town and have always lived in this town. And every time um, there's an, a new town manager, everything changes. Um, so, uh, like, one of the guys walking by noticed that the light was out in the town manager's office one day. And he freaked and he like went up to everybody and he's like, I don't think we, I think the town manager's gone. Well, there's like a thing in the charter that says they have to search for the town manager if the town manager's gone. And so they conduct a search and can't find him. So they know a new town manager's going to show up eventually. And when the new town manager does, like no one sees him, he's just in like a little shack. And he lets his um, words come through um, on pieces of paper floating down the street. And then people pick it up and read it and do what it says. Well, there's this trolley that goes through the middle of town. And um, he said to uh, destroy the trolley. And it just said destroy trolley. And everyone's like, uh usually there's like a why or there's some reason, you know, we don't just act blindly. Well, then the next day the trolley came and the guy whose job is to drive the trolley was in the trolley, dead, naked, bludgeoned, cut up. And then another paper flew by and it said, now destroyed the trolley. And so everyone destroyed the trolley. And then everyone got these ridiculous shit jobs. And our main character had a job um, selling, um, like, chicken broth at a little stand. And, um, like, the whole thing is, like, super weird and crazy. And uh, it just keeps going, getting worse and worse. I don't want to ruin everything for you because I kind of just gave you half the story. But um, the end is... Um, we come back to this thing where is living better than dying? And if so, why? And um, it just, this, again, deals a lot with stuff that's in Conspiracy Against the Human Race. So um, it's just, it's a super fun story. Um, I'm going to tell a little bit about the end here because this is the conversation that I want to have. So our main character disappears. He leaves the town and he just goes from town to town, getting odd jobs at um, other towns whose town managers aren't as depraved as the town managers that he's dealt with, but not any town is um, worth living in basically. Like, all the towns are fucked, but his town was the most fucked. And then this guy, one night when he was having a cup of coffee, came up and sat down next to him, and he was like, hey, you look like you've been around. And he's like, yeah, what do you want? And he's like, I think I have a job for you. And he's like, yeah? And he's like, yeah, how would you like to be a town manager? And he's like... Tell me more. Like, just resigned to the fact that he's either going to kill himself or he's going to be a town manager. And um, at the moment, being a town manager seems less painful. But at the same time, by him saying it like that, 
it gives you the thought that maybe being a town manager isn't less painful than suicide. So, um, it's just, it's a really amazing, fun story. And, um, if you can't read these stories and see the connections with our world right now, um, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. So anyway, so that's um, the town manager from Teatro Grotesco by Thomas Lugate. And tomorrow, we're going to be digging into the meat of the conspiracy against the human race and posting the um, schedule down below in case you want to read along and read ahead so when we get to the videos, I could actually talk about them in more detail. Actually, I have it all written down here. So tomorrow... Oh, wait, no, that's the 26th. I'm way off. Uh, yes. So tomorrow, um, the first four sections in Conspiracy, um, Psychogenesis, Antemortem, Wide Awake, and Brain Work is what we're going to be going over tomorrow. So... Um, I hope you enjoy that. Um, psychogenesis is so much fun. Um, and it really just lays the groundwork for everything that follows, just as a book should do. Um, so I can't wait for that. So we'll be talking about that. But um, yeah, Town Manager, super good story. Um, take a look at it. So um, let me know down below what you think. This Saturday, I'm doing a poetry reading and it, unveiling the new chapbook. So be sure to set a reminder for that at um, 6 o'clock Pacific. Yes, on Saturday. And um, let's see what else. Oh, um, Poetic Anarchy, the um, poetry course I'm doing. It's a four-week course, uh, two days a week, with um, a reading at the end and an anthology put together um, at the end. So um, in like a, in a book form, not a chat book. So um, that should be really fun. Um, there are five spots left in that. So um, if you're thinking about doing it, hit me up and let me know. I'm trying to keep the class no bigger than 10, but hit me up and let me know. Um, if this is something you're looking forward to, if you want to hold a spot or something like that. So um, that's it. And until next time, I will see you later.